What's up guys? Welcome on back to Matt DIY. So today we got a project uh, for you, another how-to video. And if you've seen some of my other videos, you know I like to do it straight and to the point. So we're going to go ahead and get after it. We're actually changing the front brakes on a 2004 Volvo S80. This will probably work for, uh, I believe, 2000 through 2004 or 5, somewhere in there. S80 and some of the other models. Um, pretty similar on all the Volvo models. Volvo models really so we're gonna go ahead and get after it here um, go ahead and change the brakes this one's actually sticking it's got a bad caliper so I'm doing caliper rotor pads and new brake hoses so let's go ahead and dive right Alrighty, in folks so the first thing I'm gonna do and it's actually hard to see because it's dark out here but right there you can see where the brake line connects to the brake hose and it's probably corroded whatnot things like that I'm gonna actually tackle that first to make sure it comes loose um, that way the rest will be easy because I can just peel it off and uh, get the new parts out but we're going to try to get that line right there loose. What I usually do is heat it up, blast it with some WD-40, and then, uh, you know, try to get it off if it doesn't come. Uh, do the same thing again, heat it up again, a little more WD-40 until she breaks loose. I'm talking about this side. And make sure you always, for this project, are using a fitting wrench. So it's going to look like this, um, where it's got a six-point uh, bolt head there and then a part for the line so you can get over the line. You got to use one of these regular wrench you're going to round that nut right off this will actually save you um, and keep you from rounding off still got to be careful that you don't snap the line but this is going to be much better um, for not rounding that nut because if you round it and you're in for a world of hurt because you're probably gonna have to run new lines or something like that so let me go ahead and get that loose and i'll report back with the status of that all right folks so good news so we got it loose here you can see the end of the brake line um another tip to mention and i'm sorry i couldn't do it live because it's too dark i need to get better lighting out here um is actually to once you just first crack it loose you'll notice some resistance don't keep driving at home and you're not going to win any contests here just take it easy so if i'm on the if i'm on the nut i'm just loosening it until it cracks and then i'm coming right back and i'm just doing that i'm spraying more wd-40 i'm getting it nice and loosened up once it's loose then you can continue to keep keep going loose but uh yeah, that's that there and since we're not re we're not uh dealing with this caliper um this caliper is done i'm just going to go ahead and actually cut off this brake hose just to get it out of our way not even going to attempt to get the rusty old one out of there since this has been on here since 2004 all right that's that the next step is just going to be taking the whole assembly here off now normally what you can do is uh start here let's get this clip off of here right and then you would take off just the caliper portion oh, let me get you in frame take off just the caliper portion um and the in the bracket would stay on i'm going to take off both in one piece because i'm actually replacing both but um there's actually little caps back here and i'll get you in here so you can see them maybe yeah right here there's a cap so you just pop the cap off it just peels right off you might have to wiggle a little bit oh, this one's in there okay wiggle a little bit pop it off and then there is actually an allen key uh hex head uh screw in there um and you would actually get your socket socket wrench i'll show you when we put the new one on what i'm talking about but it's actually inside there um, but for this one you know i'm not really Concerning myself with, and this thing got so hot that this is all, this is all messed up. So I'm not even gonna put that back. So what we're gonna do now. All right, so there's two bolts. There's two bolts. One right here, one directly below it. And there are 15 millimeters. So we're gonna take our 15 millimeter wrench and do a lefty loosey. And they're usually pretty tight. So what I'm actually gonna do just from the start is actually get a uh, mallet. goes just to bust her loose no sense putting all your might into it hurt your fingers things like that work smart not hard right all right so that one's loose and same thing with the bottom here and this thing just stinks because we just drove this car and <laughs> it got hot that one's tight i'm actually gonna do Okay. Whoop. So 
right here, guys. Oh, wow. That is in there. Have to be careful with this one. It's really not easy to spray. Oh, but I might try and get some down in there somehow because that is really tight. There she comes. There she goes. Whew. It's still in there. It's probably because it got so hot. They're usually not quite this bad. But we're getting it. Just, uh, there she comes. She's giving up, guys. She's giving up. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yep, there she goes. There she goes. Now we can get her by hand, rest of the way. WD-40, PV Blaster, that kind of stuff comes in. Super handy, guys. Especially up here in the in the rust belt up north heat and wd-40 oh and also when i took that brake hose off i uh made a little plug for it a little piece of rubber hose with a screw stuck in the end of it that way it just locks my brake line and all my fluid doesn't run out all over the place while i'm uh doing this kind of stuff before I get the new hose on because you have to put the new hose on the caliper first and then you screw it into the car. All right, now we got her off. And now what's left is peeling this bracket off, which is also harder than usual because this caliper it is sticking, but she's coming. She is coming. Come on, little girl. There we go. All right, we got it. Now, to get the fluid out, which, uh, wow, she's just, yeah, she is, she was really, really stuck. You can see, uh, there's really no pad left, and that's the outer pad. Inner pad's not much better. Let's see if I can get a pair of uh, pliers here. Okay, slide that out. And let's see if we can do any sort of a squeeze here and. That's not going to work. It does not want to move. We're getting some fluid out of it. Oh yeah, we're getting her now. But she was stuck for sure. Could that be rust or what? All right, so now that the caliper pads and all that are off, and we, you can see like the rotor's just really scored really bad. In fact, there's a flat spot <laughs> I can feel with my hands. So it's toast. Anyhow, um, 
Well, the feature that I like is they actually put a bolt on the rotor to actually hold it on. Now this, somebody's been in here monkeying around because that is not the proper bolt. That's a Phillips screw and who knows what is on the other side of it. So I'm going to try my best to get it out, but we're probably looking at cutting it off here. Yeah, I really don't think I'm going to get that out. And as I thought, this ain't coming off, so we're cutting it off. Here we go. Always fun. Now, start banging. There she, there she goes. And that stupid screw somebody put in there was holding us but she's off now all right guys it's able to go ahead and get that stud out and actually found another another one in my metric uh, extra uh, bolts that'll actually fit there so we'll be good there so all i'm doing now is just cleaning this up because it's quite rusty so just getting off that layer just so the new rotor goes on there all right <clears throat> It's all rusty. Whew. All right, <clears throat> that's going to be good. Just get you some brake grease and coat that so that hopefully uh, seizing doesn't happen in the future. like so and then get your new rotor always love putting a new rotor on cars always drive best when you got a brand new brake system actually before i nope i'm good go ahead and slide that on there get my little bolt actually let's uh let's get some wd-40 in the little mounting hole there all right And we'll line up that, that little hole. Should be about right there. Just go ahead and tighten that down. All right, so what we're gonna do next, take our brand new bracket here and uh, just put some, just put some brake grease right where the pads are gonna come in contact, try to minimize you know, seizing up like we just had happen. Especially important up north here. Get the other side. All right, that is good. All right, then we're gonna go ahead, and put that on. We'll get some. Uh, I'll spray some WD-40. And spray some in the car side too. All right. And it goes on like that. 
got. And we'll go ahead and get some on there as well. And this is where having this uh, bolt for the rotor comes in handy because as you're putting this on, it comes in handy to have that held on there. in a little closer here. All right, so we got that one started. Go ahead and put the bottom one in. And you'll kind of feel it. Yep, there it goes. Line up with the bracket. And let's take our 15 millimeter. And snug them up. I just give a couple pulls with the arm. Probably supposed to actually torque it, but that's going to be more than tight enough. that <clears throat> all right we got our bracket now it's time for the caliper so I want you guys right here where you can see the brand new piece of machinery here all right so go ahead and take the bleeder cap off take out this uh, protective cover where the brake hose goes and then what we're going to do is get a pad. And before we stick it in there, same thing here. Important to uh, put just a nice coating on the back here. And on the parts where it actually rides in the bracket. But not you don't want to get any on the pad so be careful of that because you do want to stop all right so we're going to take that and clip it right in it should sometimes you have to help the help it get started just a little bit there it goes. And then same deal for the outer one. And then you want to have one of your sliders ready. What I usually do is just put a uh, socket on it. And of course this needs to be greased as well so that it slides back and forth. I'm just going to get a good old coating on there. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and just put your caliper right on. It should slide right in nice and easy, especially if it's brand new. Now, if you're replacing, if you're not replacing the caliper and you're using the old ones, you will have to do that step that I did and twist uh, with a C-clamp and get the old fluid out to compress that cylinder. That way you can actually get the new one in. Also, if you're not replacing the brake hose, you will loosen, loosen the bleeder screw, and when you're pushing that in with a C-clamp or whatnot, um, that's when that's when it'll actually squirt out of the bleeder, all the extra fluid, and then you can compress it. You don't ever want to compress it and force it back up into the system um, on ABS brakes. You don't want to mess with the with the fluid reservoir and stuff like that. So you always want to open your bleeder screw or take the hose off and then push it back. But if you're not replacing the hose, like I said, bleeder screw will do just fine all right so we got it sitting in there just beautiful i'm gonna go ahead and get my first slider and just start to get it where it's supposed to be and looks like it actually lines right up perfectly okay 
goes in. And slug the bottom. Okay. Alright. All right, and then sometimes you'll have the uh, plastic, the uh, caps, like I took off the other one to go back in, but this being a remanufactured one, actually doesn't have the cap that uh, actually goes back on there. Just the bolt should sort of seal it up. So I kind of would rather have a cap back there, but it didn't come with caps to, to fit the particular uh, way that it's set up, but that's okay. Just to go ahead and get this, uh, this clip in, and these are sometimes a little bit tricky, but you can usually get them with uh, not too much trouble. It's like that right there. And I just take a hammer and lightly, uh, this is a big, big hammer, but give it a little tap there. All right, and, uh, we're good. so. The actual last step is going to be the uh, just the brake hose. So, just going to make sure everything looks good there. Yep. So, we're going to go ahead and screw in the brand new brake hose. And just take your time. You don't want to cross thread it or anything like that. All right. And again, no reason to drive this home. Just, uh, Get it nice and tight. More than enough. And then lastly, hook it back up to the brake line. And that part is going to be tough to see because it's way in the back. So um, I'll show you guys when I get it hooked up. All right, folks, and see if I can get the light in here to show you the brand new connection right there. So you can see the line going into the hose right there. So Volvos are nice because they use nickel plated um, brake lines, which I think are becoming more popular. They're not steel, so they never rust. So really all you have to do is replace the brake hoses and then you're good for a long time. Um, that's really the only thing that that uh, goes wrong here. So anyways, we've got the new brake line in new rotor. New brake pads and everything, all that's left, new rotor brake pads, all that's left is to bleed it. So to bleed it, um, if you're by yourself, you can use a self bleeder kit with a hose and like a hose into a little bottle, hook it onto here. And when you pump the brakes, um, that will go into the fluid and not, uh, not just out in the middle of the air. So when you let off the pedal, it will suck in air. Or if you have two people, um, you can actually sit out here, have another person go inside, pump the brake pedal a little bit, uh, open this up, let it out, do that a few times, and then you're good to go. And always start on the farthest end from where you're uh, replacing them. So I'm starting on the passenger side because I'm going to do the driver's side too. But, yep, we are good to go. Alrighty, folks, there you have it. That's changing the front brakes on the Volvo S80. I hope it was helpful if you're doing this kind of project. If you have any questions, things like that, drop them down below. Let me know. I'd be glad to help you out. Um, but this project wasn't too bad. I know the lighting probably could have been a little bit better, but that's what I had to work with, so uh, we went with that. So anyways, guys, like this video if it helped you out. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps the channel. Also, if you like this kind of stuff, working on cars, how-tos, uh, reviews, things like that, I actually drop three videos per week, so go ahead, click that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, without further ado, guys, get out there, do it yourself.